Donning a face mask has become the new normal in 2020. While wearing a mask may sound fairly straightforward, there are a plethora of options to choose from and a surprising amount of mask-wearing mistakes one can make. These are the serious ones you should avoid at all costs. We've all seen that person who pulls their mask below their nose so that they can smell something at the supermarket or give their schnoz a little air. Regardless of the reason, letting your nose hang out is a big no-no. While you may think that your mouth is the super spreader, it's actually the less offensive orifice. According to a study published in Cell, the nose actually spreads higher concentrations of COVID-19 than the mouth. So every time someone breathes out through their uncovered nose, they're increasing the likelihood of infecting other people. Furthermore, there is potentially greater nasal susceptibility. As such, covering your nose might help offer some protection for you as well. This is why John Torres, NBC medical correspondent, told Today that covering your nose with your mask is one of the most important parts of the process if you want to stop the spread of the coronavirus and keep yourself and loved ones safe and healthy. Now remember, stay at home. But if you gotta go, strap it on like so. Think of your mask as underwear for your face. You really don't want to wear your face mask day after day without a proper washing. Yes, cloth masks should be laundered in between daily uses. Infectious disease expert Dr. Amesh Adalja explained to Health that during regular usage, your mask may become, quote, contaminated with anything in the environment, like bacteria, viruses, and fungi. Adalja continued, saying, and if you're not regularly washing it, it could itself contaminate other things you leave it with every time you take it off. So. How dirty can mine possibly be? Oh, yeah, we've seen your purse. So. Hey, don't be too overconfident. <laughs> So how can you ensure your preferred face covering remains clean and hygienic? The CDC advises throwing it in with your regular laundry, using a warm setting and regular detergent. You can also wash it by hand. It's equally important to make sure it's adequately dry before reusing. You'll want to transfer your mask to the dryer and use the highest heat setting or hang it in the sunlight. You may also want to consider investing in a few cloth masks, perhaps one for each day of the week. This will lighten up your daily laundry load and ensure that you'll always have a clean and dry mask ready to go. We get it, masks aren't the most comfortable addition to your accessories collection. If you are not accustomed to wearing them day in, day out, you may find yourself fiddling with them often, trying to adjust the nose bridge or pinch the sides. But all that touching is doing more harm than good. You could be contaminating your mask and spreading germs to your face. If you have to touch your mask while out in public, you should first wash your hands, infectious disease expert Dr. Dean Winslow of Stanford Healthcare told Business Insider. Don't have access to water or need to adjust your mask? you can use alcohol-based hand sanitizer, according to the World Health Organization. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention also recommends taking heed when taking off your mask. You should only remove your mask once you're back at home and only touch the ear loops or head ties to remove them. The CDC advises, be careful not to touch your eyes, nose, and mouth when removing and wash hands immediately after removing. Opting for disposable surgical masks? Pay attention as you put one on, because there actually is a wrong way to wear it. As explained by The Straight Times, most surgical masks feature three layers of material. The top and bottom layers are folded, and the middle layer functions as a filter. But the important thing to note is that the only correct way to wear them is with the colored side facing out. The side that should face inward and against your face is usually white in color, according to the World Health Organization, and made of an absorbent material. Positioning is also key to ensuring efficacy. It is important that your mask is completely covering both your mouth and nose, as these are the areas that expel virus-containing droplets. Men with mustaches and beards might want to consider a little trimming, too. As noted by Moffitt Cancer Center, facial fuzz can intrude on the intended snug fit of a mask. Hence its name, a disposable mask is meant for one-time use. While it is best to wear it for a day and then move on to another one, some experts say that you can reuse it as long as you take some extra precautions. Jade Flynn, nurse educator at John Hopkins Medicine, told Yahoo News that in a pinch, you can put your disposable mask in a paper bag or a clean receptacle that has good ventilation and give the mask some time to air out before wearing it again. While you may be tempted to spritz your disposable mask with disinfectant spray in an effort to prolong its life, this should be avoided, as you may end up breathing in all sorts of harsh chemicals. If you do decide to reuse a disposable mask, be sure to chuck it when you notice any staining or damage, as advised by the Moffitt Cancer Center. And please, use a trash can. Don't dump that disposable mask on the ground. 
At the outset of the COVID-19 pandemic, masks were scarce. Fortunately, companies and individuals sprung into action to make cloth face coverings available to the public. While we should stress that any mask is better than no mask, there are certain types that are more effective. A study led by Amanda Wilson, an environmental health sciences expert at the University of Arizona, sought to measure the efficacy of different masks and materials. Wilson revealed, the denser the fibers of a material, the better it is at filtering. That's why higher thread counts lead to higher efficacy. There's just more to block the virus. The research also found that a DIY mask made out of a single-layer cotton tee is, quote, only slightly better than wearing no mask at all, whereas a scarf lowered the risk of infection by 44% after 30 seconds and 24% after 20 minutes. Is this a whole It's a science experiment! Have you heard the term maskne? It's exactly what it sounds like. Acne caused by wearing a mask for extended periods of time. Of course, it's a small price to pay to protect others and yourself from the spread of COVID-19, but hey, you might as well take some small preventative steps to at least try to ward off irritating blemishes and pesky pimples. Dr. Nolani Gonzalez, cosmetic dermatologist, explained to self that masks can trap humidity and sweat, which will cause bacteria to grow, leading to eventual breakouts. Thankfully, maintaining a simple skincare routine can help. Cleanse, moisturize, exfoliate, and wear SPF every day, as advised by Gonzalez. Active mask knee breakouts may require more mildly aggressive products. Finally, don't forget to wash your cloth mask regularly to keep bacteria at bay. Wearing a mask is not at all dangerous. As confirmed by the Mayo Clinic, a face mask will not force you to breathe back in carbon dioxide or impede your ability to get enough oxygen. Surgeons wear masks for hours and hours at a time in the operating room without experiencing any harmful effects. Anybody here take shop class? <laughs> Still, a mask that is ill-fitting and too tight may cause you some discomfort. Of course, you'll want to keep your mask on while in public, but if it's causing you pain, you are more likely to take it off when you should not. If you've been caught in an unexpected rainstorm and your mask is soaked, you will want to swap it out for a new one as soon as you safely can. Likewise, if you have been working out and your mask is damp with sweat, you're going to want to replace it. You also shouldn't put on a mask that hasn't fully dried after being washed. And it may seem obvious, but just to lay it all out there, don't wear your mask while swimming. However, do keep your distance from other swimmers. As noted by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, wearing a wet mask can make it more difficult for you to breathe. Plus, it won't even work that well. According to Infection Control Today, a wet mask has increased resistance to airflow and thus a reduced capacity for filtering bacteria. If you've ventured back into the world, you are no doubt familiar with the awkward experience that is removing your mask in a semi-social situation. What do you do with it? Where should it go? How can you keep it handy and clean for when you need it again? As advised by Sarasota Memorial Healthcare System, you should keep a paper bag with you so that you can safely store your mask when you have to take it off. A Ziploc bag is another option. Whatever you do, though, don't shove it in your pocket or store it straight in your handbag. This is a recipe for contamination. Wearing a mask is certainly a critical step in stopping the spread of COVID-19, but it doesn't mean that you shouldn't also take other precautions. As one registered nurse told Well and Good, if you're in a public setting with strangers, like a grocery store, and there's potential that you may come in contact with multiple people that you're not familiar with, then it is proper to both socially distance and wear a mask at the same time. Staying six feet apart from others means you're less likely to come in contact with those droplets responsible for spreading the coronavirus. Furthermore, the expert explained that that although masks definitely impede infection, they don't make you impervious to it, she revealed. The fact that you can breathe through it tells you that something can come in through that barrier, and COVID droplets are small enough that they would still be able to travel through the mask. There are plenty of big and small mistakes you can make in your mask-wearing pursuit, but the most serious error is not wearing a mask at all. As noted by the University of Maryland Medical System, cloth masks mostly help to restrict the escape of droplets from your nose or mouth, potentially reaching and infecting other people. As noted by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, you should wear a mask even if you are not exhibiting symptoms. Asymptomatic transmission of COVID-19 is possible. Additionally, wearing a mask may help to keep you safe too. Dr. Monica 
Monica Gandhi, an infectious disease specialist at the University of California, San Francisco, noted that any type of barrier likely offers some impediment to inhaling a large amount of virus-carrying droplets. She revealed on the institution's site, "...the more virus you get into your body, the more sick you are likely to get." In the end, we're all in this together. By wearing a face mask, you do your part to mitigate risk for your community, your loved ones, and yourself. Masks on! Masks on! Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Health Digest videos about the latest medical advice and developments are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.